Welcome to Wheela. Now we're going to show you some of the most interesting traffic incidents. Are you ready to go out on a brand new voyage rife with excitement, adventure, and surprises? So, let's get going. That incident cost the employee his job. He, of all people, should have known better. Everyone is okay. Canadian Pacific freight train cars derailed in Franklin Park. No injuries were reported and no hazardous materials were released. The tracks were cleared in hours. I believe the insurance payment will go more smoothly thanks to the dash cam. Totaled his truck when this guy drove into his lane. The guy admitted to being on his phone in the police report. A speeding truck in a construction zone locks up brakes. There were no injuries and no collisions. If you overtake it carelessly, you will be in the truck's blind spot. Stay off the right side of the truck. Let's use it as a reference. Whatever your speed, you always have to consider the possibility of falling. He is okay. Let's drive cars and bikes safely, folks. No one was hurt. Oh my, how can they get a driver's license? Probably this is the least expensive way to learn the lessons of looking before backing up and having awareness of what's in front of you that they could learn. What did you know? Elena! Oh my, looks like mechanical failure. The whole time the vehicle was veering left, the left front tire was actually pointed to the right. A gray Honda Civic swerves into the lane to avoid having to stop behind traffic. Both pulled over at the first safe location to do so and exchanged information. This is the reason not to run a red light, folks. Stopping at red lights makes Whoops, I bet a combination of cheap tires and about 20 kilometers too fast. A dash cam video shows the multi vehicle pileup that closed down a snowy Interstate 70. Not a good one. And he was staring at you for going too slow. Yeah, he was mad at me for going too slow. Oh, oh no, this is yeah. the thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hope someone gets that guy who carelessly caused the wreck. Wow, that's one beautiful pick. Thank you to the officer doing a great job. I'll call it. Be patient, mate. When lights and arms come down, stop. Oh, 
always securely tie or attach goods to a good vehicle to prevent their falling off from the vehicle. Kudos to motorcyclists for being good citizens. CPS Trooper dash cam shows Aguela Maduros, semi-truck, speeding by before getting into trouble. <laughs> to figure out where the sound originated, I had to watch it twice. Anyway, all of them are fine. Oh my, this guy was going too fast. Speed up according to weather, bro. No way, did he fall asleep or is he drunk? Hope he has good insurance. Not sure how this cement is transported, but I damn hope it is not wet cement. The road is going to be so uneven and probably too unsafe for bikers. Everyone, always on your guard, stay alert. Slow moving traffic doesn't mean nothing will happen. Well, the maximum fine for this can be $2,200. Where's he going? A truck changes lanes but fails to check before changing lanes. And it looks like the truck can't brake in time and swerve to avoid collision with a front car. Not sure if rule 8 applies here. It is bad parking. Well, I think he needs to invest in a better quality dash cam. Never run red lights. Prioritizing traffic laws and respecting signals is vital to prevent accidents and promote road safety. Do not imitate this. This is the moment a truck driver falls asleep and goes crossing traffic. Remember, prioritize adequate rest before driving long distances. Oh dear, the driver changed lanes without looking. Utilize your mirrors and turn signals to indicate your intentions. Secure your cargo properly and check that all items are safely stowed before driving. Hey, the white car, stay in your lane and slow down. Luckily, the car avoided a collision. Fortunately, there were no injuries. Well, both drivers do not look at any of the mirrors to see if anything might be behind them. Well, the Suzuki Swift glides through a red light, while the traffic police officer looks on. Instant karma follows. Things occurred in a village in Russia. Luckily, only the car was slightly damaged. As you see, the doors come loose and flew through the air, smashing the oncoming driver's windscreen. Luckily, no one was hurt. If it's raining or even overcast, keep your headlights on even if you can see fine. Wow! Fortunately, there were no injuries. He should not have sped up when the white car started to go into his lane. This impatient driver rammed another car out of the way to make it through this set of roadworks. It could be very dangerous for other people on the road. 
Obeying the law and exercising patience at intersections are essential for road safety. Do not imitate this. Probably one of these incidents where the trolley pantograph gets stuck in a spot and the driver probes holding the gas. Then the bus gets dewired. This moment is a pay for the eight vehicles maintenance fees. Police have revoked his driver's license because of driving under the influence. Wow, ballet, miraculous. They didn't bump into each other. Hey man, wait for an opportune moment to make your U-turn. Avoid forcing your way into oncoming traffic and be patient until it's safe to perform the maneuver. Seriously, who gave that person a license? No, man, don't do that. Where are you going? On bridges, crosswinds can be stronger, affecting your vehicle's stability. Maintain a steady speed and be prepared for gusts. Guess he wants to go first. Well done, bro. Glad the driver who is still conscious and ready to face a very difficult situation. Yes, the white car was in the wrong, but the truck driver could have easily avoided this collision. Take his license along with a huge fine. You're stuck in a traffic jam. And then it dawned on you. Great thoughts came into your head. This is a bit outdated, but before entering an intersection, look left, right, and then left again. They want to do everything in one fell swoop but greed would cause big losses. Bravo, he's a good truck driver. He brakes at full speed and avoids the oncoming lane until the very last moment. It might sound old-fashioned, but rolling down your windows can help you hear an approaching train, especially if the area is quiet. Listen up, road warriors. When it comes to trucks, steer clear of their blind spots like it's a no-entry zone. If you have anti-lock brakes, apply steady pressure. For non-ABS brakes, use a pumping motion to avoid locking up the wheels. Report the incident to the local authorities. They'll need to investigate and file a report, especially in a city as bustling as Moscow. When changing lanes, look in the mirrors and don't race in the rain. Be 
patient, mate. Whoops, this happened when you decide to overtake the truck along the side of the road. Whoa, this is the moment a water pipe explodes, seconds before a white car moving towards. Oh my, recklessness can cause an incident. Human life is not restored. More caution. It's incredible things that exist in the world. Is it one big ass lane or is it supposed to be two? I'd assume two because of the double light, but without lines, who'd be at fault? When someone tries to outrun a red light and gets nabbed by instant karma. Yeah! You see that? Glad the Mazda decided to camp in the passing lane instead of letting him pass or he would have been a lot closer to the flying skids. Thank you for pulling pallets out of the road. Oops, I'll always let everyone through, and don't ever think about butting heads with them. Oh, this driving recorder is pretty good. By the way, what kind of recorder are you using? The two cars were almost parallel to each other. Glad this car's chassis was assisted by a UR anti-roll bar, so it can avoid incidents. Don't rely solely on mirrors. Turn your head and physically check your blind spots. Oops, that could have ended so badly. They were all quite lucky. No, as you can see him speed up to go around the wrong way on a roundabout. Wow, you're already finished it with the GPS content, so adding in some ASP is icing on the cake. No man, impatient leads to bad decisions. Take a breath, wait your turn. And this is the same situation. Whoa! At least the truck driver chose the right decision without affecting others. Perhaps the taxi was... Sirens, bro. When you hear them, it's time to let the red hero through. Hmm, did he just keep going? I initially thought his brakes were out because of how fast he was taking the off ramp. Do you think the little white car is at fault here? Cement truck was trying to go straight. Car decided to cut across and make a right turn from the left lane. The East Point Police Department chased a subject driving a stolen Jeep Grand Cherokee. A series of pit maneuvers were made by troopers with the vehicle, and the vehicle was disabled when it struck a power pole. The driver of the car should hand their license in. If you can't see in front of you, then you don't drive forward. Whoops, Mother Nature's got her own script, and it's full of surprises.
In Denver's Harvey Park neighborhood, a runaway UPS delivery truck lost control and slammed into several cars. No one was hurt. What are they doing? My guess is he never noticed the BMW due to the line of sight issues. Baby. At least she got a dash cam, so they can't argue with her. Alas, an unsafe load on the I-95 highway. He was lucky. <laughs> Looks like someone didn't do up the wheel bearing properly. I'd be pissed if that was my Jeep. No one was hurt. Hmm, I bet he'll soon get a ticket. No way. She's going the wrong way around a roundabout. Have you ever witnessed a situation like this before? You can see the train pushing a tractor trailer at the railroad crossing at the Henderson Street Railroad Crossing. Lesson of the day, folks, don't play chicken with a locomotive. Well, after the dust settles, reflect on the incident. What could have been done differently? Use it as a lesson for the road ahead. Oh my, no matter how good the tire is, if the bus comes like this, no car will stop. It is good that this is over. Bet they were on their phone. Only braking is a fraction of a second prior to colliding with the tree, not a natural reaction. Oh no, looks like the car wanted to turn right and the UD was coming up from behind with speed and tried to overtake. Keep a cool head when
Both parties could have done better in this instance. If you attempt an unsafe overtake, reflect on the situation. No one was hurt in this case. Hey bro, strive to be a predictable driver. Sudden and unpredictable maneuvers can confuse other road users. Stop, look, and listen for approaching trains before crossing railroad tracks. Trains can be quieter than you think, and it's essential to use both your eyes and ears to detect the presence. Be patient when waiting for trains to pass. It is better to wait a few minutes than to risk attempting to cross when a train is approaching. Outbound on the Mordialloc Freeway, UTE driver turns straight into him, trying to exit onto Springvale Road. Cops are called because the driver did a runner on foot. Oops, maybe he hates the color red. By the way, he should learn how to turn a truck in a confined space. Oh dear, surfing is for the beach, not the road. Tie up your cargo, please. He is paving his own path, right? Do not imitate this. Who do you think is wrong here? Let me know your opinion in the comment below. This sensation is really frightening. You have no choice but to wait for it to occur. Wow, the fire completely consumed an electric wrapped bus on Friday the 29th of April. The incident caused no injuries. Mistakes happen, but learning from them is crucial for becoming a safer and more responsible driver. Glad they're all right. This is a collision between the White Jaguar estate and a truck that happened on M25 UK. Always check your blind spots before changing lanes. Use rear view mirrors, but also turn your head. Use the indicated as the opportunity to reflect on your driving habits. I bet some of you have done this. Get the disc brakes checked, because even a slight bend can cause a lock later on in the future. Anyways, cheers and safe riding. Oh my, many people drive while playing with their mobile phones today. Old but gold, pay attention. This is the moment police chase a van and perform a pit maneuver. Well done, cops. While it is true that it's impossible to predict or prevent every incident, the three-second rule is still a good guideline. From my perspective, it's like that. Falling asleep while driving is a serious safety concern. Everyone can pull over to a safe location and take a short nap. Oh no, if possible and safe, Communicate with drivers or vehicles. Use signals to alert them. Oh. Make it a practice to use your turn signal, bro. Always use your turn signal when changing lanes.
Bro, you can't make a U-turn before a tunnel on a single lane expressway with a double continuous line. Reduce your speed when approaching intersections, folks. Always use your turn signal to communicate your intentions to other drivers. No, never overtake a truck on its right side. And this is a similar case. Ah, if you could only jot down the license plate number of that car. Don't drink and drive. Be alert to trucks carrying loose or unsecured cargo, staying a safe distance behind them, guys. Really? What is he thinking? And that is why I close gaps in standstill traffic. Do not approach the derailed train. Stay at a safe distance, everyone. What a nightmare. In such situations, you should not leave the car immediately. Only there is silence. You can safely move away behind the barriers. Oh dear, fortunately all of them are fine. Well, this is why you should always check your blind spot, not just mirrors. Whoops, I think he needs more gear. Anyway, he's okay. <laughs> At least no one was hurt. It just seems that this intersection is just bad in general, with no stop signs. No way, take it slowly bro. A lower speed gives you more time to spot oncoming vehicles. Hmm, both drivers should have been more alert. It seems like a 50-50 fault. While these systems can improve traction, they do not guarantee invincibility on icy or snowy roads. Avoid speeding, especially when traffic jams. Stay calm and be careful, folks. Despite losing a tire, the driver refuses to stop. Officers employ a pit maneuver to finally bring the fleeing suspect to a halt. Attend towing courses to seek advice from experienced RV enthusiasts to enhance your skills. Exercise caution when driving in windy conditions. Mm -hmm. How lucky no one was driving next to this truck, otherwise it would have been a mess. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, only the car was damaged and the driver is safe. Always keep your eyes on the road, folks. Oh, 
Stop running this red light in the rain and in the dark. Let's use horns to let everybody know that you're there. Bro, don't attempt to turn if there's uncertainty about oncoming vehicles. Mm. Maybe somebody had a bad day. Hopefully they will receive insurance soon. Obey traffic signals and signs at intersections, please. Never run a red light. Wow, fortunately the windshield was not damaged. Thankfully there were no collisions and no injuries. Oh my, be patient. Don't rush like that, man. And this is a similar case. Especially in tunnels, maintain a safe and sufficient following distance to accommodate sudden speed reductions or being at the end of traffic jams. Don't do that. Check weather and road condition updates before your journey. Be aware of any advisories or warnings. Hope they are fine. Fortunately, the driver was able to escape on his own and no pedestrians were involved. Whoops, this is why you can't lane split so fast. Luckily, he's okay. Yeah, I'm good, bud. Take care a lot, guys. Thankfully, he is fine. Slowing down ensures that you adhere to posted speed limits in and around intersections. And don't forget to use the winter tires for snow roads. Whoops, light turned green. Oh. Looks like they both should have been stopped. Oh. oh, okay, Garmin. Save video. And slow down. If you notice the vehicle is tailgating you, consider changing lanes or pulling over to allow them to pass. Ooh. Go fast in straight lines, but take your time on curves and turns. Don't take curves or turns too fast in a semi truck, folks. Driver 1 shouldn't have stopped there, obviously, but also, how did Driver 2 not see them? Pay more attention, guys. <laughs> Be attentive to warning signs of instability, such as swaying or leaning. If you notice any unusual behavior, reduce speed and assess the situation before continuing. If you witness or are involved in a hit and run, cooperate fully with law enforcement. You can't believe you got a driver's license. Patience is key to safe driving. Don't cut other vehicles off to save a few seconds. Oh dear, at least nobody was injured in this situation.
No, mate, don't do that. Red lights are stop signs, remember. And this is the same case. The Iranian backed militants that instigated the airstrike. Do not imitate this. Bravo. That was such a quick reaction. Good job with the evasive maneuvers. Normal traffic was restored after 10 hours. Hope the driver's all right. Serious question, why was the truck driver speeding around the corner like that? Hopefully he's learned his lesson. Oops, at least nobody got hurt in this case. Do not imitate this if you don't want fines or even license suspensions. Stay alert, guys. Oh my, glad no one was injured in this situation. Whoops, the good thing is they have a dash cam. You should be more cautious than someone not pulling a trailer. Wow, I really need those dash cams. Refrain from overtaking other vehicles within the tunnel. Ensure that all your vehicle lights, including brake lights and turn signals, are in working order. Anyway, it's good that no one was hurt. My, that Ferrari should have decent rear wheel traction since it's mid-engined. Hope everyone is fine. Now both Ferrari and Honda have to wait for the stop sign. Do not imitate this. Really? How do they get a driver's license? Luckily, no cars were involved. This is due to overcorrection, or he decided to U-turn? It's good that there were no injuries. What? Driving a truck through the corner at this speed? Are you kidding me? Do not imitate this. Uh, what was wrong with him? Hope everyone is okay. No, man, that is not a good idea. This is the same situation. Oh dear, don't ignore a traffic light, bro. In extreme cases, repeat violations can lead to the revocation or suspension of driving privileges. 
Wow, it's good that there was no injuries and the cause of this fire is under investigation. Let's subscribe, like and hope there are less collisions in the upcoming video, and enter number one in the comment section below if you enjoy our videos. Wow, you can see Florida police officers deploy a high-tech device to bring the high-speed chase to a screeching halt. The device is called the Grappler. This is the moment a crew of robbers driving a black car is being pursued by the police. End up the police arrested all of them. What is going on? At least no one was injured. Fortunately, no one was injured during the incident. Is there anyone who can speculate as to why the wheel comes off the vehicle? Well, expensive lesson. Hope he will not do it all over again. Nobody was injured. This footage was also sent to the insurance companies and they ruled in this guy's favor. He is okay. Well, that's for a drift. I guess he would feel ashamed. This is the moment a semi-trailer truck skidding on an icy highway in Alabama. Hope nobody has any issues when traveling on Interstate 65 these past few days. Whoops, it seemed he was leaning over towards his glove box. Pay more attention, bro. At least the car owner got a good view of the Rego plate and face. Thankfully they caught up with him. Don't hit and run guys. It's absolutely insane to see how people will absolutely floor it from the middle or far left lane. I'll just route myself to where I need to go from the next exit. If it were my Lamborghini, I'd be heartbroken. Remember that even with the best precautions, aquaplaning can still occur. Stay alert, folks. And this is the same case. This is a similar case. Man, checking the rear view mirror more than once is good practice while driving. Just do it.
so glad he landed in the grass instead of the road. Nobody was hurt. Luckily, he is fine. Who is at fault in this situation? Let me know your opinion in the comment box. If you don't use signals, who knows your intentions? You should be grateful that nobody was hurt. Be aware of weather forecasts and road conditions before your journey. Slow pace will be my companion in this case. Kudos for their hard work in stopping the car, even in a head-on collision. Good job, officer. it was a nice Ferrari. When overtaking in the rain, accelerate slowly no matter what kind of car it is. What? How did he get his driver's license? Don't know what he's trying to express. Fortunately, there were no collisions. Do not imitate this. What are they thinking? Stop doing recklessly. Ouch! It's a vintage sports car. What a pity. Slow down, man. Hopefully the explosion won't shock any drivers. Anyway, the truck driver is okay. What is he doing? Don't do that, man. Dear. Glad this was a case of being able to stop in time. Be careful driving on ice. The cost to fix this car was $3,700. I really can't imagine if there were motorbikes. Be careful, mate. That is so scary. At least there were no pedestrians at that time. My, a lot of folks appear to believe their own road. Maybe they forgot we all have to obey traffic rules, no exceptions. Oh my, I'm curious what it is. Hope the driver's safe. I was on the I-35, the truck next to me had a flat tire and I almost lost my soul. It's not easy to stop suddenly, it's best to slow down everything.
No way, that is a mess. Although the accident was caused by a small tire, no one was injured in the incident. If someone tries to cut me off, I'll yield to them. Having a temporary fit of rage is preferable to my love breaking down. The site was uphill with a gentle curb near the Sugo PA in Japan, and at the time it was raining lightly and the road surface was wet. There were no injuries or road closures. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video!